Hey guys, Bryson with Trick Tools here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Bailey TN700 tubing notcher. So, um, there's a lot going on in this machine. So, for starters, uh, this machine runs on 110 power. So, no matter where you have it in your shop, as long as you got a 110 outlet, you can plug it right in and get to work. So, it runs on a variable speed controller. That way, you can dial it in depending on material size, notch size, uh, that sort of thing, to be able to get your speed proper uh, for the material and for the cutter, the end mill that you have in there, to be able to do. Uh, the notching. So um, when you flip the machine on, uh, you have a run and stop button here. So you get that going and then you can use the little dial knob here to turn it down or turn up the speed and be able to get it dialed in for the proper uh, speed for the material and the notch size, that sort of thing that you're running. So there's a chart right here on the base that is going to give you the parameters based on what type of material and the size of the RPM range that you should be operating within. So uh, you can follow those to be able to get the most uh, life and proper cut out of your end mills. So this machine can notch from half inch up to two and a half inches. So you got to uh, get the proper end mill size for the material that you're using, uh, swap those out to that right size, be able to get to notching uh, depending on what notch size you're trying to achieve. So the vise here, you have this nice V-block vise uh, for being able to hold different material. So use the T-handle wrench to be able to tighten and loosen that uh, vise. You can notch up to 60 degrees in this notcher. So the uh, basically the vise here, you have a little dial uh, with the up to 45 degrees marked. You can do up to uh, the 60 degrees, but you have to um, you know, make sure you are checking that angle and getting it all proper after 45. So basically to do that, you bump the little handle here and it kind of works uh, on a cam type action to tighten it up. So once that's loose, you can move the vise in either direction and that's going to uh, get you set up for your notch angle. Once you get it set, then you just return this handle back, bump it tight and that is nice and snug on there. So you have these two uh, levers on here that you can use to move the vise. Uh, this you can do in and out, uh, and this moves it side to side. That way you're not constantly moving uh, the, or you know, constantly notching on the same spot. Uh, you can move it back and forth uh, depending on your angle. That get it make make sure you have it uh, properly set uh, to the end mill and your material that sort of thing. So once you get that done, there is a uh, indicator right here that's going to give you some reference points. So uh, when you get you know this set, you can. Uh, zero this out. Say you got a spot you want to zero it out. You want to go in a certain amount. Uh, you can run it in and if you're going to duplicate you can back it out to that zero. Put your next piece in uh, and then do the same thing. So it gives you the repeat, uh, repeatability aspect. Uh, the cover here can easily be flipped up for being able to work around the end mill. Uh, obviously be careful uh, the machine's not running when you're doing that. So. Um, that there, there's a chip tray in the back that you can take off uh, in order to be able to dump the extra chips uh, that it does catch. You won't be able to catch all of them. You have to vacuum the machine off a little bit here and there. Uh, not a big deal. So you get your emergency stop switch here. And uh, from there, it's all pretty simple. So um, we'll do some demo notching for you now to show you this machine in, uh, in action. Uh, and it's pretty uh, impressive how fast you can do a notch. So we've got an inch and a half end mill in here. We'll notch some inch and a half tubing and show you that process.
Well, you can see uh, how quickly uh, you can get a really nice high quality notch uh, with an end mill notcher like this. Uh, doesn't take long at all to have a perfect notch fit. Um, obviously it leaves very minimal burrs, but real quick trip over to belt sander, you can clean that off and be pretty much ready to weld. So um, check out the Bailey TN700 on our website at tricktools.com. If you have any questions, give us a call and we can get those answered for you. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.